Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how I did a very simple set with a pretty orangey color and just glitter. Very simple and pretty. I'm going in with a medium core sanding bit, um, very gently at a very low speed. I'm just taking the shine off of the nail. I am using a practice hand. So if you are using a practice hand, um, this step, you don't have to do this step. I'm just showing you more or less of what I do when I work on a real client. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and um, use my tips. These are the tips I use. I'll leave them down below in case you are interested. I really like these tips just because it gives a sculpted effect and it does they are straight they do not curve and it gives a little um, C curve um, I'll show you guys more later on on the on the video how they look but you just want to make sure they fit from sidewall to sidewall just to avoid um, any lifting or breaking After um, cutting the nails, I just go ahead and blend the tip on, on with the natural nail. Um, I really recommend this step, but I feel like it gives you a more, a more clean base to work off of, if it makes sense. But yeah, I highly recommend for you to blend that in. And then I'm just going in with my file and um, just shaping it up, getting the shape that I want. In this case, I am doing a coffin. Now for my colors, I am using 109 from Valentino. I'm using 135 from Valentino, Glamorous Nude from Valentino, and 129 from Glamour Nail Supply. And again, I will be leaving everything thing down link um link down below in case you are interested in purchasing any of these colors and for the ombre i am going in with uh, 109 which is the orangey red color and then i'm using glamorous nude to do the ombre effect And um, as far as applying, laying down the acrylic, what I do, as you guys can see, I'm trying to get as close as possible to the cuticle. So I lay the acrylic halfway to the cuticle, and then I gently push, push that product up. That way it does not get on the cuticle. It just get, gets as close as possible to the cuticle. And when I'm encapsulating ombres, I always start from the middle. Um, the reason why I do that is because since I am using a cover, the glamorous nude, the, um, you don't necessarily have to encapsulate that color. Um, I do go ahead and go over it very thin um, just to level the, the acrylic. And for the two middle fingers, I am doing the same thing. Um, I'm going in with 135. And then after that, I go ahead and get 129 from Gla um, Glamour Nail Supply. And I'm just adding a little bit on top just to make it pop more. After that, I do go ahead and get file and just put it at the end um, where the glitter. Oh, I'm sorry, with where the glitter ends. Mm -hmm. 
when I go ahead and encapsulate these nails, you guys, um, I start off at the cuticle and I just gently tap the, as you guys can see right there, I'm gently tapping the product down. So the, the acrylic um, will fall into place. You just kind of have to go in there and help it out, placing it where it's supposed to go. So that's just how I encapsulate glitter or anything like that. Um, it's just with ombres where I do start off in the middle of the nail. And then I just grab extra product if I do need it to encapsulate the rest of the nail. And like I said, you guys, the two nails in the middle are the same. The only thing that is different is I did the the opposite side, if it makes sense. I went um, the other way instead of doing it the same way as the other finger. I completely just confused myself, <laughs> but I basically did the opposite side. Also, you guys, I just wanted to say, <laughs> excuse my nails. My nails are looking really rough. And I haven't had time to make them look nice. So I am sorry. <laughs>
Okay, you guys, so I'm just going back in with the file. And honestly, all I do with the file is um, reshape uh, my sidewalls just to define the shape. And then I do go over the top really quickly just to make sure that um, there's no bumps and it is smooth. After that, I do go in with my drill and I just go over it again just to um, again make sure that I'm not leaving any bumps behind with my file but for the most part the file I just use it to reshape and also um, one other thing the when I'm going in with my drill I do go around the cuticle I don't use my file to go around the cuticle I prefer to go in with my drill because I feel I can get closer um, around the cuticle than what I can with my file. And this is the shape that I'm, I was um, talking about earlier. Um, and then for the top coat, you guys, I went ahead and um, used my Valentino, Valentino gel top coat. And honestly, that's pretty much it, you guys. Very simple and very fast set. And it looks super, super pretty. Again, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, make sure you subscribe. And in case you um, guys want me to recreate any set that you've seen, uh, feel free to message me. Um, I'll leave my Instagram um, link down below as well in case you guys want to message me. And like you said, if there's a set that you guys want me to recreate, um, feel free to message me if you guys have any questions as well.